This video is brought to you by the EpiFemCare project team and focuses on epigenetics and cancer. It's been known for some time that some cancers can occur because of genetic mutations, changes to the sequence of DNA within our genes. In breast cancer, for example, mutations in the gene for P53 result in the loss of cells' ability to repair DNA and can contribute to cancer development. But it's becoming clear that it's not just genetic mutations that contribute to cancer development, it's also how our genes are controlled. Epigenetics literally means on top of or in addition to our genes. The EpiFemCare project is focusing on the most common epigenetic change, called DNA methylation. This is the addition of a CH3 molecule, or methyl group, to the DNA. Epigenetic changes can control whether our genes are switched on or off. Erroneous epigenetic events, such as too much methylation at genes important for maintaining healthy cells, are very much a feature of cancer. As a tumour grows, DNA is released into the blood and can be collected easily. The EpiFemCare project will use new technologies to identify differences in patterns of DNA methylation between women with and without cancer. We will develop a non-invasive cancer detection test that finds these cancer-unique epigenetic changes. Our aim is to improve on current methods of screening, diagnosis and personalised care, including the CA125 test used to help diagnose and monitor ovarian cancer. The EpiFem care test will be both specific to breast and ovarian cancers and reliable, thereby improving clinical care for women with these cancers. The EpiFem care project is partially funded by the European Commission's Framework Programme 7. The next video explores the project in more detail.